system running. So basically the Fire Stick is to me probably one of the cheapest good quality options that you can find. There is a Google Chrome, but you do need a device like a telephone, um, smartphone to run that from. And a lot of um, people may not have a smartphone um, or know how to use one. So this is an all inclusive option with um, comes with a remote control and that's pretty much all you need is this device and the controller. So I've opened the box up, um, comes with power. You plug the power in by the USB cord. It's then got a slight little extender here, but you can just plug it straight directly into. So this is just a HDMI port. The TV does require a HDMI port. Um, and that's just a little extender. Instructions, and then the remote control. And this is what I mean, is you can plug that in and then the person can simply scroll through like a normal remote control. It does probably take a little bit of getting used to and maybe a tutorial for people that are not um, necessarily familiar with technology, but pretty straightforward and all inclusive. So this, and I should point out, the big point of this is it means people can watch Netflix and Disney Channel and a whole bunch of others. They might need to subscribe to those channels, but it's a pretty cheap, simple way to give you access. And then once you've got that, there are free apps on there to watch through, but uh, a lot of it is, um, a lot of the big platforms like Netflix and Amazon Prime um, do cost a membership monthly. But I'm gonna talk you through now exactly, um, yeah, how it works and how to set it up. Okay, so very basically, I've just I've used the extender cord here just to as an example, but it can plug straight in. So it's just a HDMI in. I've then plugged the Amazon device straight into the adapter, the extender, and then this is the power cord. So I've just plugged that straight into the PowerPoint. Okay, so I've plugged the Amazon Fire Stick into my TV into HDMI three. So I will on my TV select that input. And now it brings up the menu. I've put the batteries in the controller. It's asking me, as you can see on the screen, different languages, just to hit that play pause button. And now I can go through and select language. And I will select my Wi-Fi. I will then input my password. You will then need to either sign into your Amazon account or create a new one. So now, as you can see, I can simply start selecting, I can choose Netflix, and then I can just either subscribe, sign into my Netflix subscription or register. And again, each one of these might cost money, some don't, but you do have quite a large option, Amazon Music, YouTube, you've got the internet, you can browse the internet on this. You've got Apple TV, Disney Channel, Seven Plus, a lot of these are free. TED is free. In Australia we have Stan. As you can see, the list goes on, games and everything. So there's quite a lot of options. And for $79, it opens up a whole world, turning your TV into a smart TV. I hope this was uh, helpful. Um, I will also do a review of the Apple TV, just so you can see, which is essentially the kind of next level up in cost. But um, if you're wanting to save cost, then, then this is gonna do everything you need. Hope that was helpful. Um, always please um, let me know your feedback if you have any more questions um, or concerns. Thanks. Bye.